how I met my husband while I get ready for the day. So I met my husband on my very first day of varsity in Feb 2012. He was an orientation leader in his fourth year and I was a fresher. We didn't really hit it off then, even though I could catch him checking me out while he gave us a tour of the library. We met again two weeks later at a dinner hosted by our bursa and we realized that we were on the same scholarship. And this is how our five-year friendship started. No! He did try to pursue me on and off during those years. He'd take me out on dates, buy me flowers, chocolate and airtime, but I was never really interested. We both dated other people, but we remained friends. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. In 2016, I was in an awful relationship with an unemployed man of God who literally treated me like garbage, saw other girls behind my back, and constantly compared me to other women to make me feel inadequate. That's suspicious. So I'd run to my friend, my now husband, and he'd outright tell me to dump my boyfriend because he didn't deserve me and I could do better. What he really meant was that he was that better. Yeah, that brother's starving. <laughs> I eventually dumped my Dusty and soon after my friend started pursuing me. He'd call me daily, buy me flowers, gifts, order me dinner. When's he sleep? Oh, this was all long distance because he was in Joburg and I was still in Cape Town. After a few months of telling me I'm a sweet nothing, he flew down to Cape Town so he could romance me in person and officially asked me to be his girlfriend and to stop seeing all the other guys I was seeing. Because one thing about me, I believe in multi-dating until a man tells me with his chest that we go together. He wanna. Hey, Wanna. Anyways, I said yes, and it was the best decision of my life. Hey, come on, guys. Like, I boy, it's not that deep. Oh, hell. Like, it happens that maybe you are crazy and infatuated with a person at a certain point that you're not really looking at in other areas and in other directions, right? And there's a guy that you know he's interested in you and stuff, but she, like, no, I'm interested in this person. And then maybe this person's cheating you like shit. They keep telling you maybe this person's cheating, which is what happened in this case. Nigga, what? Um, Why couldn't she multi-date him? Because she was dating multiple people at the time. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Because he was probably like that sweet guy, like... <laughs> Is he like that? Exactly. They're not the, the but that's they, look. There's nothing wrong with a person realizing that their choice was wrong. Do you understand wrong. what I'm saying? <sighs> like the types. Hey, bro, there's there's nothing wrong with that. One day you can wake up out of your but and realize like maybe my types are wrong and you change the type or something. Oh my god, bro! Like what's wrong with that? Let let's stop being so sensitive. Like oh, we always want to be people's first choices and shit like that. But just think about it. Like what's wrong with that? What's wrong with realizing that what I've been searching for all this time was right here next to me? <laughs> she's just telling the story, and it's not like she's the only person in the world that comes to a realization. Sometimes we say maybe the people I'm going for are are not it. Know your fucking place, trash. She's lucky that she's one of the people that actually does come to that realization because there's people that still go on and on and on and on in the same cycle. First of all, you went through your whole phase. Ah, oh, come on, man. You did, you did. Like, if you say you've been dating, she was dating. So multiple was he people. dating? Because one thing about me, I believe in multi dating until a man tells me with his chest that we go together. <laughs> You, you think a nigga like this got holes? You think a nigga like this got but holes? But that's not her. Like, is that her fault? Is that her fault? Like, no, is it's that not her fault? fault. But then that's the problem. You pose him as the the dude that just ain't got no holes. I ain't got no holes. I don't. Waited five years around for this chick to to finish her whole phase. Get ran through by all these guys yeah. that she was dating. While well, he was stuck in the friend zone, yeah. he couldn't get cheeks. While well, other guys were treating her like she were getting cheeks. And yeah. he had to put in all that effort by, like like she said, by her flowers. And he got the woman at the end. What did it cost? Everything. 
Yeah. But at the end of the day, he, he won because nobody else wanted to. <laughs> That's the problem. Nobody else wanted to win. So he won. Do you get what you get to oh, that's bad? Ah, okay. Imagine I like know. I just I just imagine seeing you posting a video like this. Yo, that one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. To be honest, I also agree that it's probably wrong of her to post that and say that and tell the whole story. Well, why? Because she's thinking like she's telling people like, hey, sometimes, you know, the person you think you're looking for is there like all along. What makes it worse is is that he looks like a nerd. That just makes it, that just made it worse. As soon as these pictures came out, they were like, yep, that's the guy. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. A guy like this would do that. A guy like this would sim for a girl for five years straight. A guy like this would buy her stuff while she's fucking other guys. A guy like this would be the shoulder to cry while she's with other guys. He's the guy. Now he's the guy to his friends. He's, the, he's that guy to his colleagues. He's that guy to anybody in the street. As soon as they see him, he's that guy. He's embarrassed now. They even showing that picture. You know that picture with mm -hmm. the long queue of niggas? Um, the, 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 yeah. the long queue people sleeping. Oh my gosh. And he's the owner of the flowers. He's exactly that guy. He's that guy. Exactly. But like, exactly if, that guy. what's wrong with being that guy? Bright side is he won, I guess. <laughs> he did. Don't say I guess. He did. Bright side he won. He got the he girl. Did. He got the girl in the end. Mm -hmm. And he's happy and he loves the girl. You know what's the triumphant story? You know the you know the triumphant story, right? Yeah. The one where the guy approaches the baddie and then the mm -hmm. baddie rejects him. Yeah. And then, but later on in life, he's got the money now and everything. Yeah. And then that successful. same baddie. And that same is baddie like... now wants him, but he's yeah. like, he's rejecting her. And yeah. Like, I'm beneath you. That's the triumphant story. That's the story all men want to see. Not this. Not this where the the woman wins. We don't want to see that. <laughs> The one where the woman wins, we don't want to see any of that. It's really bad. I feel sorry for the guy. I really do. But yeah, it is what it is. You guys let us know what you think about this whole situation. Yep. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And keep watching. Goodbye. We'll check you guys in the next one.